This episode is about the Runcam split, where we're going to try to connect the audio from the microphone situated here that has an input output here connected to the Unify Pro over the audio port. But also make sure that the smart audio that is connected to Betaflight is still works because as you can think two data are going to go travel in one wire and I want to make sure that the microphone still works so I can hear the sound of my quad on my goggle but also I can change the frequency of the radio so we are going now to solder the audio cable onto the board here you can see the, the audio cable I just made it like a, a, a split let's say where I can connect on the board here and also on the Betafly board underneath. So let's try to solder directly and see if it works. Seeing all the reasons we should forget about this place, but I don't wanna leave here if you're just gonna stay. All right, so we solder that little painty there and we plug the power back. And now we're going to power up from the LiPo battery. So everything still works as before. And we're going to try to use the OSD to change the frequency. So we can see right now that the smart audio is not recognized anymore. So let's give a try to remove the pin and let's try to see if it actually works without pin solder. Let's go inside future, smart audio, and yes, so it works. So in this case, but only in this case, where the split doesn't allow the smart audio to work, we need to add a capacitor or another step, which is going to be something else. Um, I'm going to share on the screen right now the schematics of two different scenarios how you can fix this problem. So the first attempt we're going to do is to use one of these capacitors that are very small. I mean, these are hundreds nanofarads, if not wrong, and it should be in line between basically from this pin here, from the audio pin to the smart audio pin and then it needs to be in line to this. So what we're going to do is to basically solder this one and see if it actually works. So we solder over here, you can see the cable from the smart audio and it doesn't matter which way you, you solder it, anyway, it works either way. And then we slide over a heat shrink, just to keep stuff tidy. Try to shrink it. And then we solder the remaining on top of the board, like this. Right now we have a fully finished setup here, so if I plug it in right now, it should work, based on the schematic. So let's give it a try.
So again, we're gonna to go into the OSC and the future, and then just we can see that it's working. So next thing to test is to test the audio. So let's grab some headphones. So if it works, you should actually hear a kind of like um, clicking noise on your headphones. This is a this, this smart audio sending signal to the to the device, and and if you harm the motors, the noise will go away, and then you should hear the noise on your on headphones. So yeah, that's it. Another issue of this run cam is the SD card. So basically having this setup right here and having the top plate mounted on top, it will basically make impossible to access the SD card or to plug in the, the USB port. I mean, you can actually plug in the USB port, but because it doesn't have a diode where it doesn't send back current into the ESC, into the flight controllers and so on, the board, the USB basically powered the whole setup, which is pretty bad. So what I'm going to do is to basically add a, a diode on the power cable. So it will make sure that the power on it travel in this way. So basically from the battery into the controller and not from the one cam outside. To do this, we're going to use a diode, which we have here. Um, this isn't just a normal, maybe oversized diode, but any, any diode that can handle 5 volts, about 1 amp, it should be fine. So the line, you, you're going to notice there is a line there. That means the current just let it flow from the battery into the device, but not from the device into the battery. This place, but I don't wanna leave here if you're just gonna stay. Changing like the seasons, been wasting all this time. Should be like satellites, cast me on the sky. Believe our fate for another day. Running these horizons, we'll find a way. Believe our fate. Okay, that's done. So we are basically ready to go let's test it so the motor is working so only one way power direction is going so let's test to connect the usb port for now and it turns on but the flight control doesn't turn on which is a good point and on the computer, we can actually see the SD card, so we can access it. And we can do, you can download the videos from the side. That's it. It's done.